cereal. I love the Oreo cereal that went away for I've like six it. years and then it came back, I think, last year. I feel like I go through phases with stuff like that. Like, I can't tell you the last time I bought a, bo a box of cereal, although frosted mini wheats, they're at the top. I hate the ones that don't have a lot of sugar. <laughs> so that sounds like you need to brush your teeth, my friend. Well, I kind of stopped eating cereal right now, but uh, but yeah, we have yeah. a lot of spring in the forecast. Okay, a good. Lot. Today and tonight is the exception because it's kind of on the cool side. I say kind of because it's 20. It's not really that bad, but going forward, we have a lot of 40s, 50s, and maybe even some low 60s in the forecast. So this is Storm Tracker right now. There might be some light flurries near Messina, but nothing significant. Mainly what this is, is some clouds coming down from Canada. So tomorrow, we're not going to have the blue sky or the totally blue sky like we had today. It'll be a shared blend between clouds and sunshine tomorrow. But the big difference is how much warmer it'll be. Now, not warm now, it's 24 in Burlington, 20 in Middlebury, but Wanted to show you what's going on just to our south and west. Chicago, well, not just to our south and west, but what's coming in our direction. 46 in Chicago, 33 in Detroit. So slowly overnight, we will bring in that warmer air mass. And tomorrow, I think highs are mainly in the 40s. You can see on Futurecast a few of the clouds going through tomorrow, but still there's plenty of sun to go around. It's going to feel great tomorrow. Monday is when it warms up even more. And look at all of the sun on Monday. I think it's a very bright day, especially the farther south you are. And you'll want to enjoy it because Tuesday, not so nice. The clouds come in, there'll be some showers to the north first thing. And then I think the showers overspread everyone as we go into Tuesday afternoon and evening. And it is totally plain rain on Tuesday. We're not talking about any snow or any icing. So as we go forward, look at the trend here. 50s to near 60 on Monday. Tuesday with the rain about 50. And then the cold day on Wednesday is 39. That's a, about as cold as we'll get there in the next five days. So overnight by tomorrow morning, a lot of 20s on the map, teens in the colder spots, but the afternoon we're way into the 40s, even some 50s on the map as you head down into southern Vermont. So. Here's the five day forecast, 56 on Monday. That's for the Champlain Valley though. You go down towards say Rutland or especially Bennington and Brattleboro. Could be 60s, low 60s on Monday. Tuesday, the rain showers come in first. It'll be mainly near the Canadian border in the morning, but Tuesday afternoon, more widespread showers. And then it's quieter for Wednesday and Thursday, cooler as well. But then there's more rain showers that come in on Friday. Looks like uh, plain rain again for Friday before it dries out. And we have some uh, low 40s there by a week from now to start off next weekend. Tom? Tyler, thanks.